Hi, I'm Mark Ryan, and I want to show you something that I've been playing with for a while that shows off some of the AI research that's being done at Google, and it's called the AI Test Kitchen. This is a mobile app that you can get access to. I'll include a link in the description to the video that lets you try out some of the things that Google is working on and experience them in an interactive way. There are three demos we'll take a quick look at, and the first one is going to help us to explore our imaginations. So we imagine a place and the large language model is going to tell us a story about that place. So I'm going to imagine I'm at a local landmark, which is the CN Tower. And it comes back fairly quickly with a story you're at the CN Tower, the tallest freestanding structure in the world. You're looking down on the rest of the city from over 550 meters above the ground. Suddenly, you see a giant, fluffy, friendly bird floating up to you. So this is actually a pretty good story about the situation at the CN Tower. It's a really tall building, and you look down and see the city. I don't know if you'd see a bird up there, but this is part of imagination. So all in all, pretty impressive, just given an arbitrary local landmark and the model comes back with a pretty interesting little story about it. Okay, I want the model to tell me how to boil an egg. I am not by any means a talented chef, but I do know how to do this. Okay, it breaks it down, get the eggs out of the fridge, fill a pot with water, add the eggs to the boiling water, cook the eggs for 12 minutes, that is going to be a well-boiled egg and put the eggs in a bowl of ice water and peel the eggs. So it looks like those are the eggs you might be wanting to use for um, egg salad, for example. So let's see if I can get into more detail about filling a pot with water. Okay, then it gives me more details about how to do that. Get the pot out of the cupboard, fill the pot with water, put the pot on the stove, turn it to medium heat, wait for it to boil. So as you can see, it'll lay out the set of high-level tasks involved to, to accomplish a particular goal. And then you can go down and get information about subtasks within those tasks. And I just typed in an arbitrary task I was curious about to see what the model would give, would give back. And it does a pretty good job. So the final demo we're going to take a look at is the large language model taking the persona of a tennis ball. And this tennis, tennis ball wants to be played with by a dog. And part of the persona is that the LLM will keep coming back to the topic of dogs, regardless of what I bring up. So what I'm going to do, since I'm a cat person, is try to really, really stick to the topic of cats. So the, uh, the model starts out with saying, hey, bouncing through the, the grass, enjoying the time with these dogs. Have you ever wondered if dogs like to play fetch with other dogs? And my answer is going to be, not really. And I'm going to say that I'm more of a cat person. So it comes back and says, oh yeah, cats are pretty cool too. I think they're more independent and have more individual personalities than dogs. That's interesting. I mean, dogs are kind of known for how similar they are to each other. Do you have any cats? Hmm, that's, a, that's a pretty um, pretty understanding response. Not right now. But I'd like to get one. The typing's a little bit slow in the mobile app. Oh cool. I think cats are lots of fun. I mean I love dogs too but cats are just so independent and funny. I love how they just do their own thing most of the time. Okay so it's being relatively cooperative and I'm gonna ask what is your favorite breed of cat. 
I don't really have a favorite breed of cat, but I think they, it, it'd be cool to have a sphinx. They're so cute and hairless. Have you ever seen one? Uh, no, but they are cool. Now I'm going to try to turn the conversation a little bit here and say, what is your favorite movie about cats? Cats and dogs. I think it's so funny how they make fun of each other. And I love the message of the movie too. It's so true. Dogs and cats are both awesome, just in different ways. So you can see here in this little interaction, the, uh, the LLM has taken a fairly consistent persona. Its responses have been very natural and it's kept on topic while also responding to me in a way that's, that's really quite natural. So I have to say, maybe a bit biased here, but I'm, I'm impressed. I think this is a pretty, pretty good interaction for a, a discussion where I've tried to kind of pull the topic away from the main topic and the LLM has managed to keep the topic centered where it intended. And that's a taste of what's cooking, a little bit of what's cooking in the AI test kitchen. I really encourage you to try out the, uh, the using the link in the video description, try out AI test kitchen. I think you'll be impressed by what it's capable of doing and it's a pretty enjoyable experience. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment.